As the deadly and insidious cordyceps fungal infection sinks its biological claws deeper into its unfortunate victims, even more severe physiological changes begin to occur. Victims in the second stage of the world-ending infection seen in The Last of Us are referred to as stalkers, as the cocktail of alkaloids and other metabolites released into the brain by the fungus begin to alter its victim's consciousness, the erratic and slow movements seen in runners give way to deadly speed and ferocity. The lesions that cover the skin begin to erupt with fungal growths, destroying bone and tissue alike. As the fungus constricts around the larynx, even vocalization is altered. By assuming direct chemical control of the victim's nervous system, cordyceps acts as a kind of puppet master, influencing the infected to run, hide, stalk, and kill with deadly efficiency. These changes take place over the course of roughly one to four weeks and may progress for up to a year. Eventually, fungal growths originating from within the skull cavity often burst through one or both of the victim's orbital sockets, destroying the eye and setting the stage for the next and far more deadly form of infection.